it's going to be good to be coming out once again to protest not only the HRL power station but all the ridiculous the ridiculous proposals that are in place to expand the, the coal, coal and gas industries here in Victoria. But I want to follow on from what Mark said briefly just before I sink the boot into HRL because I want to tell you a little bit about the, uh, the coal exports um, campaign that we're running because Mark's given you a great example and overview of just how absurd and reckless it is in the face of what we're facing is basically standing on the precipice of runaway climate change and trying to establish a new brown coal export industry. But the first thing I want to tell you is basically that, Victoria, you are not alone in trying to stop absurd, outrageous coal export proposals. Up in Queensland, the coal export industry is literally out of control. If all the current proposals to build mines, rail lines and ports go ahead, it would mean a six-fold increase in the amount of coal coming out of Queensland by the end, of the end of the decade. It would mean building a whole series of mega coal export terminals right up the Great Barrier Reef coastline. It would mean... Has anyone, has anyone here seen the documentary Bimble Box? Bimble Box is a nature refuge right in the heart of the Galilee Basin, which Clive Palmer wants to rip up to get at the coal underneath for his China First mine, so that he and the likes of Gina Reinhardt, who's also got projects up there, can profit on the last bits of coal while they still can, at the detriment of everyone else in the community, the sectors who suffer economically, the people who suffer because of their lands getting destroyed, the communities who rely on the Great Barrier Reef coastline, everyone who holds dear these natural icons, and anyone who's got any interest in preserving a safe climate, because we would stop our chances. Trash preserving a safe climate. Trash it. If we could not knock this off. In fact, you know what? By rights, all of us here, all of us have been involved in this campaign, won this campaign at the end of last year. Because HRL had a deadline to, to meet, to convince the government that they deserve to hold this $100 million grant, which would make or break the project, and they failed. And we helped with that. We did everything we could to tell the government that we, stop HRL, we love it. Stop HRL, take the money back, take the taxpayers' money out of this project, we're up for it. We did polling, we went took to the streets, we went to the, the proposed side of the power station itself and protested. We've stopped the finance, we've held it up in courts. We can't have done anything more to convince this government to make it as easy as falling off a log for them to cancel this grant. But yet, largely because we've got an environment minister who lives off coal, this grant was extended by another six months. And when they extended that grant for another six months, what they ended up doing was setting the deadline, resetting it to coincide with the introduction of the implementation of the carbon price. And so here's where it's got down to, folks. HRL's project has not gone anywhere in the last six months. In fact, it won a court case, and after winning the court case, it put up a, a wave the white flag saying we're not going to move the project further. We, they've managed to lose even when winning a court case. These guys are so ridiculous. Pathetic. If the government <laughs> approves this power station now, it's essentially saying that the clean energy future was no more than a name on a policy. If they approve it now, it says that they're prepared to go into business with a company who after five years still can't get their act together to get finance for their project, which would generate power at about twice the cost of regular electricity anyway, is completely unnecessary. It would say basically their, their interests don't lie with, with us and the rest of the community at all, but it rests with a few coal mines based out at based out at out of Victoria, out of out of Melbourne, who are trying to build this thing and have been trying for 20 years and have still failed. Talk about picking winners, this will be about the government picking losers. So this is where it's got down to. And everyone needs to watch this really closely over the next few weeks because like I said, we won this we won this campaign back in February. By rights, we did everything we need to do. And what we're waiting for now is for the government, both federal and state, to catch up with the reality and to catch up with the community and say, no, we're going to take this taxpayers' money back out of this project and we're going to invest it in real renewable energy projects, real big solar projects where it belongs. Real big proper work. Proper projects. So I'm going to leave you with a few short, sincere words, which is no new coal, stop HRL! 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 And no new coal!